court in Accra has injuncted the ongoing strike action being embarked on by the University Teachers Association of Ghana, UTAG. After an application from the National Labor Commission is when this happened. Now, UTAG is demanding a little over $2,000 as entry-level salary for lecturers. But after unsuccessful negotiations with the government over the demands, the National Labor Commission says this injunction is necessary so that lecturers can return to work whilst negotiations continue. Now, let's go on the phone and speak to the Executive Secretary of the National Labor Commission, Ufuswa Samwa, for further details. Mr. Asama, thanks for joining us. Why is it necessary to go for an injunction when government could simply continue negotiating with the workers to meet their demands? Yes, it was necessary to go for the uh, order from the court to restrain the university teachers from furthering the industrial action because of one, the government is engaging them on their consent and uh, their own letter to the commission on the 4th of the, the first thing that they were still engaging government in finding a solution to their problem. And the labor law enjoins everyone or every party to a negotiation, settlement, mediation, arbitration. But while the process is ongoing, you are not to engage in the strike. Neither, uh, gov neither is government no employers also to do any form of lockout. Where that banks are prohibited, any form of intimidation, harassment are also prohibited within the period. Right. So if they are letter to the commission requesting for an adjournment from yesterday the fifth to uh, the tenth or thereafter, means that they are engaging the government and their constituents, then it means that the mm. uh, negotiation mm. process is still going on, and mm. therefore they cannot strike. Mm. If you permit it, I will read their own letter to you. Go ahead. If, if it says, that's the second paragraph. First, acknowledging the importance of your office and the need to honor this all important obligation, the national leadership of the association is unfortunately unable to attend on the third date and time. Having met representatives of government, with the view of finding a solution to the present situation yesterday, the 3rd of August, it has become necessary for leadership to go and consult with our concerns and take a decision on the way forward. This is suggestive of the fact that they are led to government, they are meeting their consciences, referred to government, and so on. So the process is ongoing. Right. And in this period, you right. cannot engage in the strike. Now, um, Mr. Ofosa Samwa, isn't this move bad faith being shown by government? If it is, it, it is not bad faith. The bad faith would then come from um, the university students, yeah, sorry, teachers, if I may say. You know, negotiation, when you go for the negotiation, you, the law says you must negotiate in good faith. So, good faith uh, will not do anything to intimidate the other party. So mm -hmm. if I'm negotiating with you on salary, I am going on strike. It means you either agree to my proposal or this is what happened. They issued a threat already when they brought a letter earlier on that. They will be going on strike. What is this? That is intimidating enough. And that alone falls flat on the face of the law. Then the, the National Labor Commission director to refrain from that. They disregard the order. We invite them to have the matter settled. They say we are unable to give themselves in their own letter since the decisions are going on. And within the period of the decision, mm. where they are meeting with government and consulting their concerns, right. then they proceed to go on strike. Right. So you know how three instances they, they fall flat on the face of the law. That is why we were compelled to go to the high court. And I'm sure in the wisdom of the court, if they saw that the government was acting in bad, they will not grant the order. So where are we currently, Mr. Samoa, on the negotiation with the lecturers? They are still negotiating with government. You see, we as a commission are not part of the negotiation. We are not a party to the negotiation. We facilitate the settlement of issues, etc. If the UTAC or government or both report to the commission that we have hit the end of the road, we are unable to settle through negotiations. 
then the commission will either give them a mediator or arbitrator or hear the matter summarily, but not when the parties are still negotiating. Mm. Like mm. I said, in their own letters, where said they have met the government on the third, they are meeting their consultancy. So they have been told us that they are seen the end of the road. So they are still negotiating. If right. they hit the end of the road, it, the parties are enjoined, either one of them or both, any of them, who report to the commission, and the commission will be seized with the matter and continue. But this has not come. So at the time when you are waiting to that we are negotiating with government, then you go and declare a strike. No, there are no funds on it, and that is why you must not continue. Thank you, Ms. Ofosa Sama, for joining us. Now, let's take a reaction from the University Teachers Association of Ghana. Professor Charles Marfo is the national president. Prof, thanks for joining us. Has this injunction come to your attention? And what are you going to do about it? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon to your listeners. Yes, uh, I just got a, a soft copy through a WhatsApp. And uh, obviously, we will refer it to our lawyers, and I'm sure they will respond to it. But you see, I've been listening to the executive secretary, and sometimes it's sad. I wonder if he also received a letter dated 15 July, notifying them that because of the actions and inactions of government, by 31st July, we we'll call on strike. I mean, is he going, did, he, did they get that letter? Yes. Now, Prof. Malfo, I, I, I'm, I'm coming in here because he states yeah. that at the time you decided to go on strike, there, were, there was negotiation ongoing with government. Is that the case? <laughs> I, I wonder what they describe as negotiations because uh, we did not tell them a strike. But, Senior, what I want to say is if there was even a negotiation and there was a bad review expressed by government, and we have written to you that because of that, we may go on strike on the 1st July. I think that the, perhaps the least they could have done is to call us at that time, within a split of three, three weeks, before the strike. Mm. Within a they have done that. In any case, in any case, the day that we wrote that we cannot meet them and we said we are meeting government, that was not, that was not for negotiation. We were called by government to come and set up uh, some uh, special committee to look at the... Uh, uh, how they agree, the uh, technical committee, that is the way, technical committee. But when we got there, and government says that I understand you are uh, on strike and I want to make an offer, and an offer which we, we didn't think it is convenient for our members, and we rejected. But you see, the, the crust of the matter is this. Knowing that we've been doing this for the past two years, my brother, and we've been always notifying the... Uh, the Labour Commission, including other areas of uh, our negotiation, including the fact that the government didn't want to move mm. our pensions to uh, SNCC and all that. Mm. And so it is not only about even our political sense that we have been engaging the Labour Commission. Mm. But yes, they seem to be doing what they are supposed to do. I mean, uh, sadly, even if we come to uh, the university com community, people are expecting them to follow through. Uh, Follow through with this because uh, yeah. it seems that is all that we know the way. But if right. you could really ask them for me, that if they got a letter proud to the solid on the strike, and why they, couldn't they have called us to discuss it or drawn the attention of government to the fact that mm. they need to be up and do it because as I said, this 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 might this might, this, this might happen. Okay. We didn't even get a response to that letter, let alone being called. To, to listen to, to be listened to. Now, now Prof. Mafo, if you can um, give me just a moment. Uh, Mr. Fusa Samwa is still on the other line. He wants to respond to some of the issues you raised. Mr. Samwa, uh, thanks for staying with us. What specifically yes. did you want to speak to? Oh, yes. Uh, Prof. was referring to an earlier letter of the 15th. I think if I heard the 15th. Uh, 15th July. July, yes. Mm -hmm. So when we receive when we receive the letter of the 15th July, right, of their complaint, all we did was we wrote to the ministry that we have received a letter from the University Teachers Association of Ghana 
complaining about the slow pace, they were then complaining about the slow pace at which government was attending to their issue. And that they were going to um, engage in a strike by the 31st, each nothing is done. And then the military, that was what prompted the ministry to be holding the regular meetings with them to have the matter settled. And he will agree that from that time, he has met the ministry not less than three or four times. He was meeting almost a minute. Is okay. that right? Prof, Prof is that so the case? Prof, you, no, no. You let, bring your complaint. Let me Hello. get that response from Prof, Mr. Asama. Since we, we sent that letter, my brother, we have never been called by anybody. And so if they've been meeting government, we don't know that. In mm -hmm. any case, we wrote formal letter. Why haven't we been written to formally? Okay. We, we have no idea about what he's talking about. Prof, unfortunately, because of time, we will have to leave the conversation at this point. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you as well to you, Executive Secretary of National Labor Commission, Ofosu Asamoah.